Durham Public Schools has a lot on its plate. Redistricting, employee pay, transportation, safety, and more. Anthony Lewis, the district's new superintendent, must task, tackle all of it, and he's taking over in August. WRL's Monica Casey joins us now live. And Monica, you and Superintendent Lewis talked about a handful of these subjects. What did he specifically say about school safety? <laughs> Yeah, Deborah, that new superintendent, Anthony Lewis, will take his seat in this building in just about a month. He tells me he is thinking about safety holistically from relationships between students and staff in the schools to ensuring the security of the buildings. He says this is something he is always focused on, especially as a father himself. As a parent of two school aged children who will attend Durham Public Schools, the district's new superintendent understands the importance of safety. That's hugely important is one of the things that uh, keeps me up at night. It's an issue Anthony Lewis is focused on in his current district in Kansas, bringing in federal partners. Uh, we do um, walkthroughs with the Department of Homeland Security so that they can kind of give us feedback as to something as simple as um, you know, making sure that our entryways are are secure, um, making sure that there's no doors that are being um, propped open. Lewis tells me his plan for Durham is to ensure every student has at least one adult in their school building that they trust. But it's also important that we have wraparound services for our students as well. Uh, in terms of mental health supports, um, our school's counselors, investing in them. He says he also wants to involve everyone in these decisions. Do you have a position on metal detectors? Looking at some of the research, um, the hardening of schools is not always the answer. Obviously, any time a decision like that needs to be made, uh, our school board and our community um, would definitely um, have uh, input um, on that. And we have been following safety protocols in other school districts as well. Cumberland County Schools will install open gate weapons detection systems before the start of this next school year. And WRL Investigates actually had the opportunity to test the Evolve weapons detection system in Edgecombe County earlier this year. You can find that story on our website. In Durham, Monica Casey, WRL News.